last time. How not cheap are we talking? About a million septums. What? I like to keep my friends close. All right, both sides have heard the terms. An exchange of septums for the Jarldom. Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my man. So is this the resting place of your... If you were hoping to meet my husband, I'm afraid he's not here. Mother became almost like her old self, and guess it's you who I should thank for that. Quite familiar with my mother, aren't you? Thank you for curing this dysfunctional family, even if for a bit. Hey guys, I suppose I should talk this time. I assume you already know me because this is part 29, though they are pretty standalone. Have you come to gawk at me or is this a social call? Why are you in jail? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Spitty. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I, I mean, I had to defend myself. So you got arrested for his murder? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? Yes. I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. I think I'm not actually going to do that one. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her and I promise you'll be well compensated. You're serving eight months for murder? Actually kind of high for Skyrim. Mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. So why is Sibby in jail anyway? Sibby's in jail because he's a moron and a murderer. A testament of what happens when you use your dick instead of brains. He had too much freedom in his life and is going to pay the high price. Oh, he's fine. Living behind the bars for the rest of his pathetic life. Little he realizes that, if not for my intervention, he'd be long past the chopping block. For now, he thinks he'll be released in a couple months. Would love to see his sore face the moment he realizes it's not going to happen. Well, that must have been tough for you. On the contrary, even before he became a permanent resident of Rifton's jail, Sibby was a huge pain in my backside. Nothing was ever enough for him. Food, drink, status, luxury, wenches, freedom. He had it all and wasted it all. And you know what irks me the most? Even from behind the bars, he keeps his petty schemes. Plotting a revenge against his ex-fiance while flirting with another fool who fails to realize she'd be the very next victim. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to discuss with Helga and her niece. And I have a hunch you just might be the right person to do the talks. What about? I wished for Helga to at least consider marrying Hemming. Clearly she doesn't know what she's missing out on. Let's visit her bunkhouse whenever you'll have the time. So this is clearly before she hates Helga. And I will deconflict this with uh, stuff that's been stated in other mods later. If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. Why are you so reluctant to accept Maven's offer? Oh, please. Just between us, getting married and raising a child aren't exactly my top priorities. Don't get me the wrong way. I do appreciate Maven's offer, but it's not the kind of a burden my shoulders are ready to bear yet. Although Hemming is a decent enough guy, unlike his asshole brother, he's still a Black Briar. Becoming a part of, or worse, to inherit their family empire means turning the whole town against yourself. Maybe someday, but not today, I'm afraid. Doing a solid for Hemming here. Too bad. Hemming said he'd love to have practice on a more regular basis. He did? Well then, tell him I'm looking forward to it. I wanted to give this to him so he'd last longer the next time. But I think you deserve it more. Here. Anything else? The silver tongue orc strikes again. I wonder what she actually handed me. <laughs> oh, look at Maven not hiding at all. Yes, what is it? Is there a reason you don't like Helga? You mean, aside the fact she shagged half of the town, including my elder son? Wanna know her secret? She lets people stay in here in exchange for warming up her bed. Heard me out there? Get some quality furs, you dumb bimbo. Curiosity satisfied? 
Good. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Easy enough. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Even though I've got the money, I'm still ingratiating myself, seeing how far this goes. So maybe even if she learns about him skimming, uh, she'll still accept it. Yes? Louis Latrush sent me. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. You sold a thing you don't own? That's just bad business. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. I'm going to tell her about it regardless, but uh, might as well mess with him. I bet Maven would pay me more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge, and I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Think somebody already told you, but there's a plot to steal Frost. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. He wants me to steal the horse. Yeah, the Thieves' Guildmaster told me they tried to get her to do it first. She was a good choice, obviously, but she's loyal to me, just like you. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain... history. Tell you what, go along with his plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. Ha! <laughs> I bet stealing the horse together would be fun. You're more handy with a bow than I'd thought. Maven Blackbriar breaking into her own summer cottage. Guards will die of laughter. Lead the way. Man, look at all that grass. My GPU is probably screaming right now. Hold on. I don't recognize them. No. No, wait, it can't be. My dear, we need to talk. Those aren't your real guards, are they? That vengeful rat in a cage hired bandits in place of our loyal guards. Damn it, I was a fool trusting him with managing this property. I'm sorry, dear. Things are about to get ugly. Today is a good day. Well, good. I'm glad. Who's that? Now you'll know. She really can handle herself. Well, there's the horse, but I guess I need to go inside and um, figure all this out. Which, I mean, kill the dudes. I would have had to bash the door open if I didn't have that key. That's all I can ask of his stealth. One good shot off. More than I'd really hoped for. That's what you get for standing on the tables. Nobody ever said these guys are good mercenaries. If I was a middle-aged lady with a knife, I would also grab a paralysis knife.
I guess technically I shouldn't be taking this stuff since uh, maybe it's right there, but uh, she hasn't said anything. Of course, she's like not actually here and watching me. Yes, what is it? It's kind of small potatoes compared to what I have already stolen. Why'd you come with me anyway? Why? That's a silly question, don't you think? Obviously, I came with you because you asked me to. When you shower a lonely woman with attention, she won't resist for long. Besides, change of scenery is a great cure for one's boredom, and let's just say I was really, yes, really bored. Hear that? That's the sound of him actually starting to care about her. You! I told you to bring the horse, and you brought Maven instead. Doesn't matter. I'll kill you both where you stand. You're just a regular guy. What do you think you're going to do? <laughs> okay, he immediately runs away because uh, the dialogue's there. But the character ain't stupid, I guess. Be careful. Be careful. I'm shooting you on purpose. Are you stupid? Mm -hmm. Well, while we're here, give me your valuables. You can steal from me? Yes. Don't hurt me. You win. <laughs> I mean, I get speechcraft experience for that, so uh, why not? Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do what that is again. happening? Last warning. I'm warning you. I'll run away. You Still shooting you. I think the natural end of this quest is I tell her and she has him killed or something. No, by all means, just stop and give her a hug before you talk to her. I mean, I guess I'll just let him go, but I don't know what happened. Are you happy, Mother? Do you like seeing your son like this? Shall I dance for you or sing a song? A bird in a cage would do that, right? I'm surprised she doesn't have anything to say. You'll stay there until you've learned your lesson. I see you're still scheming, even from prison. Disgraceful. No, just a couple of side quests. I found your ring. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Seems like Hemming is dipping into legitimate business, uh -huh. unlike Sibby. Letter for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Here, a little gift from my good friend. I also have something for you. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. We can stay in my house tonight. Just randomly doing Bloodshell Manor. It's my boat and I can be as random as I want. Lydia, thanks for meeting me. Just a side excursion. Let's get going. I figured a party at a secret mansion would be a neat date, Maven. You've surprised me once again. Lead on. Am I drunk? I must be drunk. What do you need? Could you show us to our seats? Of course. So how'd you find this? Got an invite in the mail while I was in elsewhere. Strange that I've never heard of this manor. Looks old, has great craftsmanship. Who even lives here? One thing I've learned from my time in Skyrim is there are more nooks and crannies, caves and ruins than you can possibly imagine. The entrance was very well hidden. Come, <coughs> if you're reading this, I'm dead. Of course, a little business first. I have no living heirs and decided I'll bequeath the mansion to you. Me? Varen, you cooked the books. Marina, you cheated on him. Igrit, you plotted to steal his inheritance. Laethil, you did a lot of bad stuff in the Great War. I'm assuming, Galtius, you insulted his family that one time. Jeez, I'm glad I never met the guy. Oh, I'm mentioned by name in here. Yeah, he didn't know me. I think he wants us to kill each other for the inheritance. But guys, that's crazy. He's just a dead guy. He doesn't control. Oh shit. Enough. 
Lydia Maven, you okay? Anybody else alive? Azura, bless you. I wonder if any of these guys are interested in buying an underground mansion. So this is an example of a mod that does, it's all there in this note, well. I mean, for how small it actually was. Need something? Guess we killed all the vampires. The deed says the manor is mine. Very good, but you've created a debt between us. Here, take this. We're even now. And now, just to collect everything of value in the manor. Hey, Maven. Know anybody who'd want to buy a manor like this? Well, I do have a hand in real estate. I own four homes, but I haven't been able to sell Riftwield Manor. Aww. Tell you what. I'll put out feelers for Riftwield again, and I'll ask about this place too. Thanks. I'm going to go solo a bit. See you back in Riften. I need to make a small deposit. I'll head back home if you need me. Which is right here. Or maybe the side house. I don't remember where I set her home. How's it going? Here's how it's going, haha. <laughs> Nice job! We're probably going to need more money for operations costs in the future. But the worst of it is over. I think I'm going to spend the night here. See if I can work my charisma on Rika. I need to make a small deposit. Also, the keep is big. Mammoth nose. You little wretch. <laughs> it's such a random mod, but I like it. And there are a lot of orphans out there. Best get back to it. Yeah, this is uh, not a quest in particular, but there's a bandit den like right down the hill. I'm um, gonna get rid of him. As a dude with a big hammer is wont to do. Not hiding, just using the terrain. Clearing out the local bandits, that's what. Someone needs to make a mod that stops them from talking while their head is getting caved in. Because that was so weird. Happens all the time. That's some neat looking armor. Once again, when fighting a horde, use the terrain. <laughs> I gotcha. I can see how it would be surprising. <laughs> well, that's making it into the video. I'm sure that came from Bandit Lights expansion. J Serp is pretty fun.
Hey, earlier you were about to say something about Khajiit, but I feel like we got interrupted. Do you know what a Khajiit actually is? Elnofe related to Bosmer. Wow, so you do actually know things an average schooler wouldn't. Impressive. Legends say that Azura made them out of souls that were shifting uncontrollably between those of a man and a beast. In order to stabilize their appearance, she tied their birth forms to cycles of Massa and Secunda, or Joan and Jode, if you will. The rest of these souls were claimed by Yafra and became Bosmers, the Wood Elves. Legends aside, in reality, there are specimen of Khajiit you can't tell apart from a Bosmer at first glance. And that, my friend, is not a mere coincidence. Because every single Khajiit is, in fact, an elf. Me too. That may or may not look like a beast. Officially, Sadri was my servant, not a husband. Still, that didn't stop him from conceiving children with me. Huh. Your kids look human. Indeed they are. For you see, that's how their weird biology works. Turns out you never see human Khajiit or elven Khajiit hybrids around, not because they are impossible, but simply because an offspring will always take on mother's race. A Nord mother like me and a Khajiit father will always end up with Nord kids. A Khajiit mother, however, will always have kittens, regardless of father's race. Do your kids know? Do my children know? Ha, huh, of course they do. Sibby doesn't take it lightly. Reminding about his fluffy lineage puts him into rage. Hemming doesn't care. He's always been chill like a cat about it. As for Ingen, well, Ingen really loved him. She wasn't the same after his death. My hunch is he's alive. Maybe even traveling with a caravan. Maybe you're right. I never considered this possibility, but that sounds plausible. Even so, I don't understand why did he leave me like that. Sure, we weren't officially married because it would ruin my public image, but were us four too much burden for him? If he's actually alive and shall you find him, please. Ask him why. I just want to know. Home sweet home. Hey, Maven told me about your Khajiit father. I'm sorry. I felt so lost when he died. You can't blame yourself forever, you know? No. It's all my fault. I was a dumb little girl with no common sense. The moment I realized what happened, the world around me shattered. Everything lost its colors, its warmth, its life. Just like I lost my father. It probably sounds naive, but I started learning alchemy just so I could bring him back someday. I... I have no idea what I'm doing, do I? If you need to talk, I'm here. Well, thank you. You know, I'm starting to wonder if you're too good to be true. Is it true your father was a Khajiit? That's true, but you'd better keep your mouth shut. Look, I know my mother likes you a lot, but there's a very big reason why she didn't marry my father let alone made anyone else aware she gave birth to his children. Nords despise half-bloods, pure and simple. If only they knew we, Maven's children, aren't exactly human, overnight we'd become outcasts, or worse. So please refrain from mentioning this mere fact in public, alright? Of course. What about Maul? Oh, Maul? Don't worry. He can be trusted. He even helped us spread the rumor about Ingun and Sibi being my children. <laughs> I like that. Everyone bought it and minded their own business ever since. Your what? Well, it worked so far. A little sacrifice for the sake of the whole family, if you catch my drift. Anyway, it was nice talking with you. Hope you'll be a fine addition to our family. You said Maven seems to like me. What do you think? Yep, no mistaking. All head over heels about you. I must admit, my mother has a fine taste. She always liked big tusks. <laughs> I like that too. So does he say something different for every race? See the Easter egg here is that in the game files, um, the two other kids are listed as being Hemming's children and Maven's their grandmother. People think it's because of story changes, but it's still there. Hmm. The lodge was infested with bandits. Was that your doing? Oh, what a clever thief you are. Those, my friend, were hired thugs. And the real guards? Fired them, obviously. The old guards always complained about their payment cuts, so I cut them off. And thanks to you, now I don't have to pay anyone at all. Well, how are you going to explain this to Maven? Nice try, but you don't scare me. My mother's already got me in jail. 
An accidental collateral damage, who would care? There are things worse than death, well, you know. Got something to say? No? Get lost. Yeah, your father was a Khajiit. Right. Where did you hear such a thing? Your mom. Listen, I don't care if you're licking my mother's boots, but my ass is off limits. Right after I plowed her. Guards! Can't a man have a bit of privacy? We are done talking. Get out of here! Hey, kid. I heard you were an orphan. If you get tired of the caravan life... Really? Do you... Do you have a place I can live? Come on down to Dragon's Keep. The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Looking for a Khajiit named Sadri. Sorry, this one got no clue about the one named Sadri. Oh, perhaps you're looking for Risad, yes? Oh my god, it's Risad. Where? He's here. Hey, Risad, this one is looking for you. Here, let me take care of this for you. You won't get the best of me! The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. My friend thinks you look like someone she knows. Risad, or should I say Sadri? Ah, yes. You finally found me. What a relief. It's not like Sadri was hiding too well in the first place. Your friend is Maven, isn't she? This one could swear he felt her fragrance carried by the wind long before he heard your footsteps. You're here because you're looking for answers, yes? What would Maven's friend like to know? Why leave? You had children and a wife that loves you. A sharp question that pierces this old aching heart. Sadri felt he became a burden to Maven, to her status, and to his children. Sibi didn't see him as a father, neither did Hemming. To them, Sadri was either a slave or a punch bag. Little Ingun, though, she loved him with all of her heart. Boy, she was one reckless kitten indeed. It saddened him deeply to play such a cruel trick on her, but Sadri had no choice. Maven probably told you how it happened. What she doesn't know, brewing nightshade in hot water destroys most of the poison. Sadri learned that from his alchemist uncle back in Corinth. Still, the taste is bitter enough to kick your stomach inside out. Would you come back, or at least let them know you're alive? As much as he'd like to return to his previous life, it saddens Sadri to reject your humble proposal. As for letting them know, Sadri anticipated this day would come, sooner or later, so he prepared a letter in advance. Here, feel free to take a peek. Oh, and... May you both reach her safely, friend. You know, obviously none of this is canon, but I kind of like this take. Huh, that fits perfectly. To dear Maven and beloved children, Ingen, Hemming, and Sibby, I hope you're all doing well. All these years, I deeply regretted leaving my family behind, let alone in such a cruel manner. You always meant the world to me. More than elsewhere, more than moon sugar. At the time, it felt like I was freeing you from a burden so you wouldn't have to hide who or rather what your father was. After all, no one asks questions when you're dead. Only after going to Morrowind and back to elsewhere, I realized how cruel I was to every single one of you. But alas, it was far too late. And it saddens me even deeper, for I won't tell you all this in person. I simply can't leave my caravans to their own devices. The eh, Civil War's mostly over. There are a few skirmishes. Sadra Yunu is now a traveling merchant. He owns every single Khajiit caravan across Skyrim. Perhaps shall you travel along the same roads? We'll meet again. Yes, what is it? I brought news about the Khajiit you saw. Really? Did you manage to locate him? Please tell me about your findings. He sent you this letter. I see no reason to lie about it. Let me see it. Oh. Oh, you. You silly, sly, fluffy bastard. The one who stole and broke my heart. All these years I mourned his death. While he was hiding in plain sight. Building a caravan trading empire of all things. Well, can't change the past, I suppose. Don't tell Ingen and Hemming, all right? In fact, it will be better for everyone to believe he's dead. Obviously, he doesn't want to come back, but at least he'll be a valuable asset to the Guild. 
I heard they wanted to establish a schooner trading with those caravans. I actually already did that with Astana. Ah, thank you for bringing me peace, my dear friend. Here, I'd like to give this to you for all the trouble. A rare, unedited copy of The Real Berenziya, Volume 2. Several centuries ago, the Empire censored and destroyed most of its original copies. Some high-ranking purists thought its depictions were too graphic. I swear those Imperial peasants can't appreciate a good book. So I hope you'll have a really good time reading it. <laughs> I like that the skillet enhances as one-handed. That's kind of funny, actually. And wow, this is really racy. I would say I should cut this out, but um, pretty sure the algorithm can't read. Yeah, you can pause if you want to read it or uh, do the quest mod. I don't know where the mod author got this, but uh, yeah. I'll be in my bunk. So I promised you all deconfliction. A lot of mods and vanilla treat Maven as a shrewd manipulator. Of course she is, but that doesn't make her inhuman. I mean, she is kind of a crime boss. During Brynjolf and the Riften Guild, the wealthy benefactor asking us to do jobs actually had a vendetta against Maven. I'll let you watch. He'll give it to that harlot Brackbriar who brews her swill in my uncle's copper cakes. Yeah, probably. Do you even know who Maven Blackbriar is? Do you know where she came from? The question here is, do I care? The answer is no, not really. She was a tavern wench in Markov who plied her trade on her back. So what? She'd sell her lowly secrets to the highest bidder and tip off a network of henchmen. My family had no choice but to abandon their holdings. Oh, boo-hoo. They fled by ship in the middle of the night with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Their faithful steward created everything he could at the meadery in town and sent it after by caravan. But the man had lowly habits and mentioned his plans to a strumpet in a drunken haze. Guess who that was? Maven, I guess. Hell, she stole her criminal empire piece by piece, starting with you guys. Yes! You're no better than she is. If I can't have her head, I'll at least have your... Yep, that went pretty much how I thought it would. Thanks, past me. Anyway, there aren't really any conflicts here. She used her ill-gotten gains and made a new life for herself in Riften, working her way up the criminal network there. Maybe getting a servant, Rissad, in the process. I was thinking Hemming might have been a product of her trade, but that would also leave some difficulty in determining everybody's ages. I'm imagining Maven in her late 30s here. In 202, that is. Hemming just a little older than 20, Sibby around 20, and Ingen is 16. 10 years or so is enough time for Rissad to become a trading baron. What does need slight deconflicting is the following scene from Dirtyborn. Could I speak with you about Helga? And who are you? It doesn't matter. I've got nothing to say to that fucking whore. Unless you're telling me you're going to kill her, I don't care. Hey, I'm just trying to help her. She wants to squash the beef with you. She was trying to fuck my husband. Besides the obvious, Rissad was not actually her husband. It's clear that Maven just found out about this. In my mind, I'm thinking of a story in which Maven keeps bothering Helga about marrying Hemming. And Helga blurts it out to get Maven to back off and realizes her mistake immediately. And by blurts it out, I mean she was trying to get with Rasad 10 years prior, not knowing he was Maven's actual cat boy toy at the time, but now she has heard it, probably from her practice sessions with Hemming. And Maven, of course, gets pissed. Even though Helga would have no way of knowing, Maven would still be mad about it. Also, side note, I've never covered this, but Helga is one of the life waters in Bibers, which keeps her looking young. I'm sure I talked about it at some point. With this info I'm going to go with, she's probably around 30 in 201, and in 220, which is actually 216, that would make her in her mid-40s. Hasn't aged at all. And this video has already gone on way longer than I wanted it to. Maybe I should have left the mansion stuff in there, but, yeah, It's called world building. Anyway, Saints and Seducers extended cut coming up. But warning, I did do about six hours worth of bard stuff first. I had to have a reason to go to solitude, because Dasana hates going to solitude. I have a lot of bard mods. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop now. Thanks for watching and happy modding.